Hello, you are watching Parhibo Math Genius Riddles. This is a very interesting question. Try to prove the value for n cubed plus 5n. It can be divisible by 6, and n is an integer. In this video, we share two different approach. The one go for factor operation to prove it, and the other approach just fine with quickly math trick to submit. Would you please to prove that n cubed plus 5n can be divisible by 6? Pause the video and try it while you are ready. Keep watching the video to get the result. The given value n cubed plus 5n. How to prove it can be divisible by 6? Okay. While the value can be divisible by 6, it means 6 is the factor of this value. So, in the first approach, just prove 6 is the factor of n cubed plus 5n. And the 6 equal to 2 times 3. 2 and 3 is a factor of 6. So if we can prove both 2 and 3 are the factor of n cubed plus 5n, then it proves 6 is a factor of n cubed plus 5n. It means n cubed plus 5n can be divisible by 6. Okay, let's prove it. First, Proof n cubed plus 5n can be divisible by 2. So while n is an even number, then n cubed is an even number. 5n is an even number 2. So add up this 2 n cubed plus 5n is an even number. While n is an odd number, then n cubed is an odd number. And 5 times n is an odd number. At that, at these two odd numbers become at even numbers. So no matter n is an even number or odd numbers, that n cubed plus 5n become an even number. That means it can be divisible by 2. Next, to prove n cubed plus 5n can be divisible by 3. There are three remainders conditions while n divided by 3. First, n over 3 remainders is 0, or remainder is 1, or remainder is 2. While n over 3 remainder is 0, we can define n equal to 3k. Then substitute n by 3k to n cubed plus 5n become quantity 3k cubed plus 5 times quantity 3k. In these two items, both of them with factor 3, so it can be divisible by 3. While n over 3 remainder is 1, we can define n equal to 3k plus 1. For easy calculations, adjust the given information n cubed plus 5n as n times bracket n square plus 5 bracket. Substitute n by 3k plus 1 to it as quantity 3k plus 1 times bracket quantity 3k plus 1 square plus 5 bracket. Develop the square item in second quantity as 9k square plus 6k plus 1 plus 5 equal to 9k square plus 6k plus 6. Then factorize 3 from second quantity. So the information is quantity 3k plus 1 times 3 times quantity 3k square plus 2k plus 2. 3 is a factor of this items, so it can be divisible by 3. While n over 3 remainder is 2, then n equal to 3k plus 2, substitute n by 3k plus 2 to the given information 
as quantity 3k plus 2 time bracket quantity 3k plus 2 square plus 5 bracket develop the second quantity then simplify as 9k square plus 12k plus 9 factory 3 from this item as quantity 3k plus 2 times 3 time quantity 3k square plus 4k plus 3 same there is 3 in it so it can be divisible by 3 we prove 2 and 3 both of them are the factor of n cubed plus 5n so n cubed plus 5n can be divisible by 6 okay next to find the other way look at the given item n cubed plus 5n we add mass n to n cubed and the plus n to 5n become two groups then check these two item groups are there factor 6 in them 5n plus n equal to 6n it have the factor 6 and how about n cubed minus n factor write it as n times bracket n square minus 1 bracket and the factorize n square minus 1 become quantity n plus 1 times quantity n minus 1 then adjust the sequence as quantity n minus 1 times n times quantity n plus 1 it becomes 3 items multiplied by continuous numbers with number different 1 this item can be divisible by 6 due to it include the factor 2 and 3 take an example such as 1 times 2 times 3 you have 2 and 3 factors then add 1 as 2 times 3 times 4 and 2 as 3 times 4 times 5 all of this with factor 2 and 3 so the item quantity n plus 1 times n times quantity n plus 1 including the factor 2 and 3 means including the factor 6 both of these two item groups n cubed plus n and the 6n they can be divisible by 6 so we prove that do you find it hope you to enjoy the video thank you